Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, we're going to go over two worked examples to show you how to do problems involving the electron volt. Now, if you haven't already done so, check out my previous video covering the theory on this topic, and that way you'll be able to apply what you learned in that video to this one. So let's get started. Question 1 says that a proton and an alpha particle are accelerated from rest through a potential difference of 20 volts. Calculate the final kinetic energy of the A proton and electron volts. Well, to do this question, we need to use some of the ideas that we looked at in the video for charge moving parallel to an electric field. So first, we need to find the kinetic energy in joules. So we're trying to find Ek final. We know that the charge in the proton is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. Remember, that's just the positive form of the electron charge. And the potential difference is 20 volts. So remember, for charge moving parallel to an electric field, we can say that work done is equal to the change in kinetic energy. And we can then expand this right hand side to say Ek final minus Ek initial. And then remember, it's accelerating from rest. So we can say that this Ek initial is equal to zero. So this gives us W equals Ek final, or we can expand the W to be W equals QV. And we can say QV equals Ek final. So if I swap these sides now, I get Ek final equals Q times V, which is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 times the 20. And putting that into your calculator should give you an answer of 3.2 times 10 to the minus 18 joules. That's me got the final kinetic energy in joules, but I want it in electron volts, remember. So now we need to convert joules to electron volts. And remember, one electron volt is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 joules. And we can use this to convert between the two. So to get from joules into electron volts, I need to divide by 1.6 times 10 to the the minus 19 and that gives me an answer of 20 electron volts and the numerator was just our value in joules. Part B wants us to calculate the final kinetic energy of an alpha particle in electron volts. Again we first need to find the kinetic energy in joules so again we can say the final kinetic energy is what we're trying to find. The charge in an alpha particle is actually two times the proton charge because remember an alpha particle consists of two protons and two neutrons. Two neutrons don't contribute anything to the total charge, but the two protons do. So because there's two of them, we times the proton charge by two, and we get 3.2 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. We also know the potential difference is 20 volts. So just like in part A, we can say work done equals the change in kinetic energy, and this is equal to Ek final minus Ek initial. And we can simplify this because Ek initial is equal to zero since the particle starts at rest. And then we can rewrite this as QV equals Ek final, or Ek final equals QV, which is 3.2 times 10 to the minus 19 times 20. And if you put that into your calculator, we get an energy of 6.4 times 10 to the minus 18 joules. But remember, we want to get that into electron volts. So we now convert joules to electron volts. And again, we can divide this time by one electron volt in joules to get the number of electron volts. So we get 6.4 times 10 to the minus 18 divided by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 is equal to 40 electron volts. A quicker way to do this part B would just be to realize that the charge is twice as big as the charge in part A, and therefore the final kinetic energy in electron volts will actually be twice as big. Lastly, question two says that an alpha particle has a kinetic energy of 4.0 mega electron volts. Calculate its speed. Well, first we need to convert the kinetic energy from electron volts to joules. So the kinetic energy is four mega electron volts, which is the same as 4.0 times 10 to the six, the mega meaning million, times 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. So to get from electron volts into joules this time, we need to multiply by 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19. And putting that into our calculator should give you an answer of 6.4 times 10 to the minus 13 joules. And now we can write down what we know from the question. So we're trying to find the speed V. We know that the mass of the alpha particle is 6.64 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms from the data sheet. We know that the kinetic energy is 6.4 times 10 to the minus 13 joules. And putting this into our equation for kinetic energy, we have Ek equals a half mv squared. And remember, we want to find what v is. So substituting in our numbers, we get 6.4 times 10 to the minus 13 equals a half times 6.64 times 10 to the minus 27 times v squared. So what I would do now is multiply both sides by two to get rid of the half and then divide the left hand side by this value here. So if you do that and put it into your calculator, you should get a value for V squared, which is V squared equals 1.9 times 10 to the 14. But now we need to square root that to get V on its own. So square root in both sides gives us V equals 1.4 times 10 to the seven meters per second. The quick check there is that it cannot be greater than the speed of light, three times 10 to the eight meters per second. So that looks like a reasonable value for our particle. That's all for this video, folks. Thanks for watching. If you made it to the end, I really appreciate it. Make sure to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.